What's up guys, my name is Daryl and today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to create a custom registration form with WordPress. Now if you're running a forum or you're running a blog and you want people to come to your website and register, today I'm gonna show you how to create a custom registration form that'll kind of match your current theme setting. So for example, right here I have my website and I want people to register. You know, I want them to register on my website. So here I have this register button and it's going to take them to this custom registration form. Now I'm gonna show you how to create this same exact form and show you how you can modify and change it to match your current uh, theme scheme. Like if you're running like a green color or red color or whatever. So this is my form, it looks nice and it's something that you know people might want to come out and you know fill out. So right here I have like my color black and, and white and you can change this to any colors. You can change the padding, you can change the margin, you can add different icons as well. Now this is all done with a free plugin. That's right, everyone loves free. So today I'm gonna show you uh, what plugin I use and how to do that. So let's go ahead and go to our WordPress dashboard right here. And I'm going to go to ultimate or no, that's the one I did. But uh, the one I used was ultimate member. I was going to, I already have it installed, obviously, you know, so ultimate member. And I use this one right here. So it's this little uh, smiley face one right here. It has already 100,000 active installs with 550 positive reviews. So it's, it's probably one of the best ones. You know, I actually did go around and use like five or six other ones. And this one uh, was the best because you can add CSS to it to change the color. And I'll talk more about that at the end of this video. So right here we have ultimate member. And the thing I like about this is that um, it actually creates the forms for you. It creates all the pages for you, does everything for you. So all you need to do is really focus on styling it. So right here we have settings. And uh, right here there's different options. You know, these are all the pages. You can create a custom page or it'll just create them all for you. Uh, this is the email. Now the email I do recommend to look into because let's say you want someone to activate their email, like they sign up for their your website and you want them to activate in their email address, which is, you know, it, it prevents spam. Uh, right here, you click on this checkbox and you can go ahead and click on account activate email. And then you can also uh, edit every single email as well. Now, I kind of recommend doing that because uh, I actually got spammed once when I left it open by these bots from Russia. You know, go figure. That's when I was with, with, uh, with Hostgator and they're like, they're saying I had like a DDoS attack or something like it happened to me. So I was pretty, uh, I was I was like, wow, that's crazy. So here we have like the appearance. If you want to go ahead and change stuff, you can kind of mess around with these settings. Uh, miscellaneous as well. Uh, these are pretty self-explanatory. They're not too difficult to understand. But I'll talk more about this uh, in a little bit. The thing that you might want to change right here is a registration form and the, the login form is the maximum width, which is, which is what I changed in my form. So usually by default, I think it's at 300 and I made mine uh, 450. So right here we have forms. Now this right here is a registration page. Now I do recommend to get another browser and kind of work on two different browsers because the problem is, is that if you want to see what you did and you're already logged in, like I am right now, it's going to say that you're already logged in and you can't see your work. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right here, I'm gonna go to edit and I want to customize my registration form. Now I've already added icons. I've kind of customized mine a little bit. So right here, I wanna go ahead and add in something else. Maybe I wanna add in, um, there's a bunch of things right here. So you can add in like a time picker, a date, a file upload, a URL, etc. cetera. Now this, this form builder does a lot more than just like, you know, registration form. You can do a lot, you know, the, the fact is that it lets you, let you upload forms and um, you know social media, all this stuff, you can really get customizable with this. Now right here, I'm just gonna go to URL, and here I'll do URL, and then I'll do like URL, from a MetaKey, I'll just do like URL, you know, link. And then the label is the most important one, that's actually what it displays on your form. So I want to display URL. Now right here, I'm gonna go to add, and right here, we can actually drag and drop wherever we want it to go. So I have it there. Now let's just say I want to preview this form. I want to see how it looks. So here we have the username, the last name, the first name, and the URL. Now it's missing something. It's missing an icon. And you can add up to like, I think they have like, like 500 icons. So I have the icons just because I felt they were, you know, they were nice. I kind of like the way it looked. So right here's the, all the icons you can choose. I chose this one right here. And here I'm clicking on updates. Now another thing I want to talk about is the padding. So right here where it says edit row, Later on, um, I changed my padding to 15 because I'm gonna go ahead and go to my other form right here and show you an example. So this is my form right here and here's the padding. So if you wanna change the padding right here, you can do that because by default, sometimes it's squished depending on your theme settings. So if you're using like Elementor, if you use like the full width layout or something like that, it might squish everywhere. So by adjusting the padding, it'll kind of adjust to where you want it to go. 
So right here, I do have a little bit too much padding. So I think I use 65 padding here. So I'm gonna change mine to something like 15, you know, so 15. I was messing around with it earlier. So here I'll click on update. And then I'll go ahead and update this right here. All right, so I think I changed all my settings right here. Now, uh, here I have the URL. I have all this stuff right here. Let me go ahead and see if I've changed that. So right here, there's no URL right there. So I'm going to refresh this page. And um, there you go. So now the URL is right there as well. So it looks good. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own form. So let's just say you're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and take this right here and copy this. And let's go ahead and make our own page. Let's go ahead and start st straight from scratch. So the registration demo here, I'm going to do full width. Oh, for those of you watching the World Cup, I predict Belgium to win. I think Belgium's going to take it down. So but it's going to be close with France. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's going to be a really close game. So here, we're going to use the Divi Builder. Now, depending on what your builder are using, you can use Elementor, you can use Brizzy, you can use Visual Composer, you can use Divi, because all you're doing is just uh, placing a short code. So there's not much there's not much that you need to do. So here, I'm going to go ahead and go to my layouts. 52 layouts for Divi. Wow, that is a lot of layouts. Those guys are really working hard over there at Elegant Themes. So here, I have a services page I'm going to use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this right here. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I just want this white background right here. And here, I'm going to take this, enter a text module, and then just go ahead and paste it in any text module. And I want to center this. Because by default, it's going to be on my left side right there. See? Now, see how I also said you have to be logged out? That's why I recommend using two different browsers because you don't want to have to keep logging in and out of the same browser. That would be so much work. And, like, who would work like that? You know? Are you crazy? So here I'll click on check and then click on save. Okay. Now I'm going to take this link right here. So this is my form. Now I'm going to go back over here to my other browser right here and paste it. And we're going to see the exact form I made. So there you go. So the URL, virtually the same page as well. I just decided just to, to you know, mess around with it. And so my contact form looks great. You know, the, probably what I could have done right here is I could have added negative margin right here to push this up, or I could have added zero padding. Maybe zero padding would have put it like right here, and a negative margin would have probably pushed it up as well. Um, let's go back over here really quick. So that is the actual forms. So if you want to go ahead and customize it, you're more than welcome to do that. You can also go ahead and create your own form, but they've already made some other ones right here. Like this is actually the default login as well. Now for the login, you just really need the username and password. Now you can go ahead and add in different widgets right here if you want. You can add in a website URL or birth date or whatever. But I mean, for a login form, you don't really need to do much too much customization here. So I think they did a pretty good job with the form settings and everything. So let's just say that you, you've we've created our form. You know, we know how to create it. Now let's go ahead and say, I want to change the colors, you know, because by default, when you actually get your form, it looks something like this right here. And it looks really ugly. So right here we have this blue color and we have this gray color. And here's like the username. So what I did was I added the icons and I changed the color right here to kind of match my color scheme on my website because uh, the blue was just not working for me. So uh, going back over here, now there is a link below and this is from ultimatemember.com and it's basically the CSS that you will need in order to change stuff. So you don't have to be a developer to do this. You don't have to be experienced. I'll just show you exactly what to do because it's it's pretty simple. Now go back to your websites and your theme should have a theme customizer, right? Every theme out there has a theme customizer and you're going to enter in that custom CSS inside that theme customizer. So going back over here under our additional CSS, we have all this mumbo jumbo right here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all this and then just paste this right here. All right, and I'll click on publish. Now, if you don't have an additional CSS box in your theme customizer, which, which I think all themes today are offering that now. So if your theme is not offering that, uh, sorry, but you can go ahead and download a plugin. Just go to like plugins and just type in CSS or really simple CSS. And they'll give you boxes like this where you can go ahead and enter your CSS or whatever theme that you're using, you know, whatever uh, like CSS area, just go to that area. So right here, I entered the CSS. Now I'm gonna go back over here and this should all be changed because what I did was I decided to change all my CSS. So it's not gonna have the same color anymore. So now you can see it has the default right here. So it has this blue right here, it has this login. 
Now, there's another link in the description below, another one, <laughs> and it's this website right here. So all you need to do is pick your color scheme and just simply take these little buttons right here, these letters, and just paste them in the CSS. So let's say, for example, I want the black right here. I want 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all right, we're adding that. Let's go back over here. Now, I'm going to go to line 67 right here. This right here controls the background of the, the um, let me open up one more tab just to, just to uh, let's see, what was it, the registration? The registration demo, was that, what, was that the one I did? Let's see. Oh yeah, I can't see because I'm like that. Wow, see that can get really <laughs> that can get really annoying. All right, so right here under 67, this is going to control the. Um, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you. So I want it black right here. It's going to show you. It's going to change this register button right here. So let's go ahead and reload right here. All right, it's reloading. It's going down. Now you can see the register button is black. Now when I hover over it it turns a different color, but we can still change that. But I'm just letting you know to control that actual color, you'll need to use uh, that specific part. Now we also have the login as well right here. So let's go ahead and go back over here. Now also we have, is it line 71 for the login right here? So right here, maybe you wanna change this to something like white or something. Maybe you wanna add a different color. So right here, we'll put, we'll put white. Okay, and then Go ahead and publish that. Now to go ahead and see your changes again, you'd go over here and reload this page. That's why I highly recommend getting two browsers because it'd be way easier. Now when I hover over it, it's going to be white. So we're just controlling the hover over section, but don't worry, um, we can change it to you know whatever. Now I recommend using two color schemes on the hover and the background because if you don't, it's gonna look like this. It's going to have that effect, but if you wanna have that effect, that's perfectly fine. So going back over here, we have the next one right here, which is the login background on 70, 75. So the login background right here, this is the actual color of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this right here and publish it. Now right here, this one is going to stay white. All right, so now you can see it stays white. So I don't need to change it. And the last one right here is the hover over, which I wanna keep it black. So going back over here, I know this might look like a uh, going back and forth. You'll got to do this one time, you know, don't be lazy, you know, no one, no one likes that. So under 84 right here, this will control the hover color and I'll just paste that. All right, and then we'll go back over here, we'll refresh this page and then when I hover over it, it should just stay black. So it'll be two consistent colors. There you go. So perfect. All right. So uh, that's basically how you can create your own custom registration form. Now, one thing I do want to talk about also, in case you want to get a little bit more customizable, is to change the border radius and also maybe even the padding and margin. So for example, if you want like those circular boxes, let's go ahead and go close this right here. Going back over here. If you want a circular box, you'd go to your forms. Because right now we have the square boxes, but if you want to add that, um, that, that circular style, you need to go over here and enter in a border radius. So you need to enter like a border and then enter like a border radius of like 100 pixels. And it's going to basically start like becoming like a circle, so not a square. Um, also the margin right here, we can add a negative margin as well and that will like push it up. Or we can just go ahead and change the padding top to zero and that will uh, push the page up as well. So it'll be a little bit less space. So right here maybe we'll add negative 20 pixels right here. And then I'll go ahead and update right there. All right, and then we'll go ahead and check it out one more time, see if those, those changes were made, which they should. All right, so now you can see it's, it's pushed up a little bit more because we reduced the padding and we also added a little bit of extra margin. So uh, I'm just kind of showing you how you can kind of control it. Now, one last thing before you go, I wanna show you how you can shrink this form in case you don't want it this long because we can make this form stretch across the entire page if we want to but maybe you wanna add it a little bit smaller or something. So in order to do that, we're gonna to go to our settings right here. And right here under the appearance, we have a registration form. Now, right here I have 450 pixels. Now, if you want it really skinny, you can do like 200 pixels, all right? 200 pixels, which is way too small, but I'm just kind of showing you how and where you can customize it. So 200 pixels, going back over here, refreshing that. Now it's gonna be much skinnier. See, it's way skinnier. So 
I'm just showing you how you can kind of control it and make it look how you want it to act and etc. So it's a great registration form. Uh, there's so much, there's so many ways you can customize it. There's so many which ways you can go. Um, I recommend just kind of, you know, doing trial and error, just kind of seeing what works for you. Uh, this right here controls the registration page, the default login and the, um, the profile as well. Now, if you want to go ahead and see these right here, such as the login right here, all you need to do is just go to um, the login, just go to live preview, and then it'll look like that. Now, another way you can do this is by going to forms and then um, see how you can view the actual form. So let's see how we can actually view it under our, I think it's under our pages right here. It creates the form for us as well. So right here we have the login right here. And then now if I check this out, guys, it's it's not gonna look the way it looks because I'm already logged in, unfortunately. So uh, I don't wanna go into the login because it's the same as the registration. You'll have to log in, you'll have to log out, but I'm just showing you where you can edit it. So uh, right here is like where it's going to reside. Now the, uh, the short code's right there. So let's go ahead and, oh, here we go. Preview changes, but it's not going to show me because uh, I'm already logged in. So there you go. I, I can log out right here, I guess, if you guys wanna see it, see. There it goes. All right, so there's the, there's a login form, you know. So if you want to edit that, you're more than welcome to. Um, one thing that you do need to do though, if you want like a full width style, is whatever page you're using, you can enter in full width. I'm using Divi, so Divi you can control like the actual page, and that will give me like the full width settings as well. So it'll make a really beautiful login form, and I think the uh, the plugin is 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 great. So now, of course, you know how to link that, right? So let's just say you have your registration page. I'll go ahead and go to um, our pages right here. I might have to log in again. All right, so we have our pages right here. Now, I believe the one that I used was called here. It was called the registration demo. You just gotta take this link right here and copy it and put it into any button. So for example, right here, depending on the page builder you're using, I, I don't know which one, I'm using Divi. So right here, let's just say, for example, I want them to click on this and go to register. So um, I know some people ask me, I mean, it seems very basic, but I get questions in the comments and. I just don't want people to be like, oh, what the hell, Daryl, you didn't show us how to link it. So whatever whatever theme you're using, just take that simple link and just go ahead and paste it there. Now, it, depending on your theme, it might look different than here. I can change this to like registration. Like registration. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it, you know? So uh, here, I'll just save it and we're all good to go. All right, and then we'll go back over here just to test it, just to make sure the link's working and everything's going fine. We'll go to our home page. I'll go down right here. And you, you should put like, you know, registration, obviously. And then, of course, I'll take us back to our form. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope by now you can know how to set up your own registration form. Uh, it's very simple. You know, you just got to kind of customize it to look how you want it to look. I will put these also in the description below to help you out with the color codes and the um the css as well so i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully by now you can make an amazing uh registration form and um make sure to like this video and i will see you all in the next video